I think over the last year, I've heard from a lot of people like, wow, like she's just like the horniest girl alive. You know, because sometimes in my songs, I, I, I say some crazy things on stage. But I'm actually a very normal amount of horny. Hello, I'm Sabrina Carpenter, and today I'm going to be painting my self-portrait. Drawing for me is the most free-handed pastime activity that I have in my whole life. Like, I don't really ever think about it. I don't think about the outcome. I don't think about what I'm doing before I do it. I just sort of do it for fun, which I guess in a sense is like the most pure thing that's ever come out of my mouth. But I really do see it as more just like something I do that makes me happy as opposed to something I do with the intention of hoping it turns out great. I think even this is like probably like a weird version of me that's like not actually what I look like in the mirror. I've just always had like light hair, dark eyebrows, blue eyes. And I didn't realize that that would be the thing that kind of haunts me for the rest of my life because like my, my bangs and my dark eyebrows, like I can't really, even wearing a mask doesn't really do much if I'm trying to be, you know, incognito. I think for me right now, you aren't ever really gonna fully control the way that people see you. That is something I have to re-accept kind of every day. I'm at a point now where I'm trying to just sort of not take it so seriously. And the things that people say, just know that these are people that have very little context on me as an actual person. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But if I'm gonna be super real, like do I like that someone can just take a photo from the craziest angle on human earth? No, but cause I'm a girl and I'm, you know, that's what, that maybe is my least favorite thing about being on tour. Cause I'll be like, that's what I look like, but it's a video. So I'll just be like, no, that was some other girl. That was my alter ego. That wasn't me out there. It hasn't really shifted other than the fact that I think it's really exciting and heartwarming now that when you know people come up to me, it's because of the songs that I write. I mean, they're so close to me and they're so personal. It's like an extension of me. Whereas, you know, shows and different films I've worked on, have, they're a collaboration of so many different people coming together to create a product as opposed to just, you know, all the pressure sort of being on me and the words I'm saying. I've always felt the safest to create when I'm in the recording studio. Specifically, like I, I have some favorite studios of mine and they usually have a very like outdoor essence to them. I love being close to the outdoors when I'm writing. It's where I've always just felt kind of the safest to experiment. At least when you're in the studio, like nothing has to be final, nothing has to come out. So I feel really free to just kind of try things. The one album that inspired me to really follow my gut in experimenting with genre and not limiting myself was Lemonade. Like it really transcended every genre. She had kind of a little bit of everything in that album and that really made me feel like I didn't have to just stay in a box from there on out. So thanks Beyonce, I love you. It's a bit of a shit show right now as I am 24 a process of making mistakes and not trying to like stay up every night thinking about those mistakes, but rather just being like, this was bound to happen as you are 24 and give yourself some grace to move on and learn from it and you know maybe write songs about it. So I think it's a mixture of that and then a mixture of just trying not to take it all so seriously and have fun. And I guess essentially what they say are the times you're gonna like look back on and feel like you were really forming a lot of who you ended up becoming. So I try to give myself the opportunity to do that. I try to like make decisions now that, you know, maybe I'd be too afraid to make because I'm young and I can get away with more. I'm on the bangs. This is looking great. I literally cut my bangs because someone broke my heart and I was just like, I have to do something. And I'm not usually one of those people that has to make like rash decisions when their feelings are hurt, but that was my like first real heartbreak. And so I guess it just like sparked that initial, like I have to do something different, but I never wanted to dye my hair because I always really felt comfortable as, you know, blonde the way I was born. I really think that the beauty of being this age is some days you can feel like truly borderline so conceited and obnoxiously confident. And then all it takes is like someone saying one thing that just strikes a chord in you to be like, I'm actually the ugliest person ever exists. And then it kind of is a big, you know, flip flop. 
But I think for me, I just feel like I have better things to worry about than the way that I look. Yes. I do feel, yeah, like I'm not gonna lie, like I definitely feel like a little bit more pressure on like, you know, the words that I choose to say and just in general kind of like decisions. But I then also have to think about it on the scale of like, if, you know, the people that are judging my answers so harshly and critically were put in the same position, like would they nail it and crush it every time? Probably not. So then I feel a little bit better. I think over the last year, I've heard from a lot of people like, wow, like she's just like the horniest girl alive. Because sometimes in my songs, I say some crazy things on stage. But I'm actually a very normal amount of horny. And also just, you know, a lot of it is because I'm able to kind of have fun and play. And, you know, when I'm doing these live shows, it's just a matter of not taking things too seriously. And I love play on words and I love funny innuendos. It's just always been something that makes me laugh. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the horniest girl alive, for sure. Hmm, a lot of people have careers that I admire for different reasons. Stevie Nicks is one of my favorite artists. He's just such a legend. Margot Robbie's someone I, I love. I like the choices that she makes uh, and how she kind of is able to really showcase herself and all her talents in very different ways and produces a lot of the stuff that she makes. I think that's really impressive and amazing. Zendaya obsessed with Zendaya. And I think that she's always, again, kind of really just remained so true to herself. I would say in the last few years especially, like people that have come into my life have really affected the music that I've made and what I've written about and what has felt important enough to write about. I'm actually quitting to become a professional painter in France. And um, yeah, I am, I'm only specifically making paintings for the Louvre right now, exclusively, but I might write another song at some point. I almost love like playing on the idea of like what a pop star is or isn't, because I think it's so many different things. But no, I like being a pop star, I'm not gonna lie. I have so many tricks up my sleeve. My favorite thing about this time in my life is I feel really, really inspired to just continue to write and write about the things that confuse me and make me happy and make me sad and make me excited. And, you know, I think I felt a lot more comfortable in my own voice after my last album came out and just that tour brought me a lot closer to my fans and I can just kind of have fun with it now, which is nice. Honestly, the pandemic sort of did a lot for me because I just really realized in that period of time that all of this is very uncertain and it makes me happy to write music, regardless of if someone hears it or no one hears it. Like, I just love writing music because I love it. And that made me kind of want to just feel a little bit more loose in what I was writing and not having to worry so much about the aftermath of it all. More just like, this is what feels honest. And it felt like a really big weight off my shoulders. I think my whole thing is I just want to keep surprising myself and learning that I could do things I didn't know I could. Like this painting. I really am not like a painter. I'm more of a drawer. So the painting was like a little scary to me, but this is really therapeutic. I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten paint everywhere. But other than that, like, this is super chill. I'm done. <laughs> Should I sign it? Voila, question mark. Do I have to like look like that? Cause then, cause then they're gonna be like, that looks nothing like her. Um, so in my head, this is what I look like. I think that's something that we all need to remember more though, is like these answers are fleeting <laughs> as, as I am changing and evolving like every two seconds. Same with everybody, you know?